Good morning everyone and welcome to Meister Tarot. We're still in the throes of what us Aussies would call winter. Um, I'm sure you guys in the further south or in the northern hemisphere are scoffing at us but um, yeah the when when it gets down to single digits in Celsius not Fahrenheit single digits Celsius we start to go Ooh, where are those glorious 35 degree days that we're used to. Anyhow, what I want to have a look at, um, this is something that I hoped I would never have to read on. Um, it's the Ohio Bill, Bill number 99, House Bill 99, has passed the House and the Senate. Is going to the Governor Mark DeWine, DeWine, DeWinge, uh, DeWin, however he likes to pronounce it, uh, for signing. And what it is, is it's a bill to arm teachers in schools. Um, looking at three days training and then arming teachers. I just, I am so uncomfortable about this. Um, I mean, teachers in the US, uh, from what I understand, your teachers are not well paid. These are the people that look after your kids for eight hours plus a day five days a week. Uh, their future is in the hands of these people. They are underpaid, they are already overworked, overstressed, under-resourced and now you're taught, you know, and they, they fear, uh, they uh, cop abuse from um, the, the community, um, some kids that play out from parents uh, they're fearful of, of um, being shot in the line of their work. I mean, they're teachers, they're educators. And now Ohio, plus another state, are uh, looking at um, legislating the arming of teachers. I just, as an Australian, uh, this just completely blows my mind. I just, I just, oh, how did it get to this stage? Now, the Republicans that are putting forward the argument of arming the teachers, they're very logical in their reasons for, and, and they make their reasons for arming the teachers seem realistic. But I think we need to look at the reality of this. Uh, they're looking at giving teachers three days training. These are teachers. These are not uh, gunslingers, they are not military, they are not police, they uh, don't necessarily, a lot of them don't even own a gun. Where are they going to store the gun? Um, how are they going to be identified as teachers if there is a heat of the moment uh, gun battle with, with police entering? Um, what happens if a student um, steals a gun, breaks into the locker or whatever, or the drawer in the teacher's desk and steals the gun. What happens in the heat of the moment when a gunman breaks into the room, the teacher is halfway down the classroom um, helping a kid with a math problem. And it just, <laughs> you know, it's just not, instead of dealing with the root of the problem, uh, all they're doing is I, I saw the term sticking a band-aid on lung cancer and this is just what this reeks of. So uh, if you can understand this is distressing me greatly that the US have got to the stage but I just want to have a look and see whether um, now it's passed the House and the Senate in Ohio, Ohio. It's gone to the governor for signing who says that we he will support. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling really emotional about this. It's just how did it get to this to this situation in the US? It's just uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just uh, the rest of the world are just looking on in horror. Okay, will Ohio, the Ohio Ohio, Ohio government um it's teachers will the ohio government it's going to pass the law it is going to pass it will it be challenged that's what the question i, I want to ask will the ohio law for arming teachers be challenged in court oh the anxiety around this not just me but <sighs> 
know, you've got a teacher teaching the prose of Shakespeare or trying to teach um, five-year-olds um, about Billy the Fish or um, the shape, you know, how to create shapes and stuff. Art teachers trying to encourage children to be creative and yet they're being put in this situation. I just... Will the Iho Iho uh, I Ohio House Bill ninety nine be challenged in court? Yeah, this is the energy we need to get back to. Moderation, not this extremism, not this sticking the band-aid on the lung cancer. Um not having to identify kids in mass school shootings by their DNA because they cannot be identified. The US needs to get back to this this moderation, this 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 calm, this reasoning, this logic, this this place. <laughs> okay, right. And I know Ohio is an extreme, but will the House Bill 99 be challenged in court? Will House Bill 99, oh, oh, this energy. Will it be challenged in court? I'm going to do a full Celtic cross on this. The voters, you need to get out. I don't know if these people are up for election in November. This is really this this move through the entire country is going to come down. Which direction it takes is going to come down to the voter. Okay, is it going to be challenged in court? Getting a big chill. I've got cards throwing out at me. Yes, it is going to be challenged from court, in court. This is just, it is an emotional step too far really is an emotional step too far yeah, so I'm getting a yes I'm getting I'm just looking at the energies they're just beautiful calming soothing energies that go with that temperance but it is going to come down to the voter so tell me will it be challenged in court and, th and thrown out will it be challenged in court will it be challenged in court House Bill 99. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be stopped. It is going to be stopped. It's going to be paused. It's not going to be completely deleted, but there is something. It's going to be challenged, and therefore it's going to be paused. And victory. Challenged by victory, so yes, it is going to be challenged by court in court, and the challenge is going to be victorious. As the US uses its intellect and logic, or Ohio at least, to move out of this turmoil, out of this chaos, into karma seas. In the past, yes, not surprised to see this. This is this is. Um, very much about mental anxiety feeling chained and helpless but gee you guys you've got an election coming up please <laughs> get out and vote encourage everybody to vote I don't care who they vote for just there's more Democrats than there are Republican voters out there and you just need to encourage everybody to get out and vote and then step back and let them do what is right um, but yeah, in the past, um, there is this this unable, being held hostage to what has been going on, unable to move, unable to see. This is work going on behind the scenes, crowning it. The, it is to a point where this is a juggling act and it is also a financial juggling act there is so much money in arms manufacturing in ammunition in keeping um 
the gun movement uh, fearful, and that's all it is, is fearful, and I talked about fear on, on Sunday, f changing fear from, from um, uh, false appearing real to being excited about the future, um, so on my Master's Guidance channel, but this, yeah, it's a juggling act, but the, there's a lot of money involved in this, um, and the money, the money is here, and the money's going to be exposed. It's about following the money trail, um, but this is also very much about walking a tightrope. There is a decision that needs to be made, and it's it's in a lot of ways not an easy decision because it's right versus financial. Oh, and in this world of capitalism and extreme capitalism in the U.S. Often financial will win out, but this is about making the decision about what ship to bring into harbour. This is the immediate future. So it is going to be challenged, and it is going to be a juggling act, but the external energies, the star, the star of hope, the star of rebalancing, the star of restoration and respite. The internal energies are the queen of coins. Uh, she is about um, nurturing security, homeland security, uh, the earth mother. She's very much the feminine energy of compassion and, compare and caring. Hopes and fears. This to me actually looks like a fear. It's a fear about agreements that are being made, about the emotional energies that are being exchanged, the outcome, disappointment. However, okay, there is disappointment, and to me this looks like blood spilt, um, but there are these two cups still standing, and there is this path lighting the way to safety so there is going to be some disappointment in the outcome things are not going to get resolved there will be um, okay there's going to be a lot of information coming at you very quickly in regards to this a lot of information coming forward but it is time for a new beginning a new compassionate, grounded beginning. There will be an exposing of dark money, will be a full illumination of dark money as this goes as these messages go forward. So at the moment we have the Knight of Wands bringing forward a very persuasive message because to be honest when you look at look at what the the Republicans in Ohio are saying in regards to this, they've, they've made it sound like logical sense, but when you delve deeper into it, it's not logical. It's, and, and really it is that these guys, instead of making, um, instead of making laws that actually protect the children. I mean, can you imagine a teacher in class uh, shooting at a, f trying to shoot at an a, a, a intruder over the heads of screaming, scattering children, and you just, ah, oh, it just horrifies me. Um, but yeah, the, the lawmakers are chained to this devil energy, this toxic, um, uh, Oh, just I can't explain the energy, but you get what I mean. There is something that's going to be revealed in regards to this, and it is going to come down to you, the voters, to actually make change. So uh, my question was, is it going to be challenged in court? Yes, it is. It will pause it. Um, but what needs to happen is the change needs to come whether it's a state or a federal level, it needs to come at the uh, ballot box for um, for actual change to happen. So it will be paused until after the election, but it's really then up to 
uh, you guys <laughs> to get out there and make it happen. Okay, right, I'll just get out of those energies because they were very overwhelming and draining. Thank you, Meister. Whew. Now, when he gives me a hug, it's not a bear hug. He just gives me a squeeze on the shoulders. Um, what I wanted to have a look at is I'm going to use my intuition cards. January the 6th, uh, televising starts, um, and I gather it's what summary and bringing forward witnesses to be on television, etc., is going to start in the evening of June the 9th, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow evening our time, might be the day after in the US. I just want to see how that's going to go. I haven't got any specific questions. I get the feeling that, that those who are interested, uh, like you and I, and knowledgeable intelligent, willing to face the truth, even if it is painful. Um, those that um, uh, want to continue believing what they believe will not watch it. So it's going to be interesting. Um, but I just want to see what the energies tell me about the energies regarding the TV. Oh, it's all about the women. Or the feminine energy. Not so much the women, the feminine energy. And there are a lot of men out there that have a fabulous balance between feminine and masculine energies. And interesting enough, if you on, on the two topics I'm actually um, talking about today, if you go and have a look at Bo of the Fifth Column, his videos. Uh, sorry I'm promoting him a bit, but boy, he really cracks the cracks the nut on the head um, or creates the nail on the head short videos three to five maybe eight at the most minutes um, he's looked at recently at toxic masculinity he's also looked at the arming of the teachers and why it is such a bad idea um, so feel free to pop over there and have a look as well <sighs> okay tell me about the energies of the televising of the January the 6th Commission summary findings, blah da 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 da. Tell me about the energies. Tell me the story. Tell me the story, Master, using my intuition cards. Tell me the story. These are cards I made myself under Master's guidance. There were more that got discarded. There are others every so often. I'll go, oh, I need a card that says whatever. And it might take me three or four attempts to actually get the whatever. This is going to be a positive. A positive. It's, it's going to be... Wow, okay. And I think I have read on it. And what I've read is that the DOJ are not moving. And I know a lot of people going, Oh, the DOJ, they're not doing anything. Oh boy, they are working their backsides off behind the scenes. Um, and they putting together they need to make sure that they have um, foil proof cases before they bring anything forward and they are old school legal where they don't blurt out to whomever they are going to um, uh, prosecute they don't give them a heads up about what they're going to do they are working their backsides off but they are also waiting for uh, this January the 6th commission because there will be a lot of information comes out and be public and it will be public from the commission rather than the DOJ and the January 6th can't actually prosecute anyone but they can recommend to the DOJ for prosecution so therefore they need to finish their whatever it is um, what they're doing before the DOJ can move in Okay, tell me about the energies of the televising of the January 6th. What will happen? What will it make a difference? Going into the midterms, just tell me about the energies around it, please, Meister. Oh, the blank card has flipped out. And then the bottom of the pack. Okay, 
For anyone studying tarot, um, shuffle your cards. You'll get a feel of when they're ready. Get a feel of when they're ready as you talk to your guides about it. They're, the guides are trying to bring particular cards to the fore in a particular order. Um, for you to read. So tell me about, sometimes it happens quickly, sometimes it takes a while. Tell me about the January 6th televised, the energies, the energies about the televising. Thank you, Meister. Here we go. I think I was asking too many questions to start with. We'll just look at the energies. Okay, something small, dark clouds, the key. Okay. The house is empty for the country. Okay. This event that may have seemed insignificant when it was being plotted has turned into this awful, ghastly black cloud that is hanging over the country. The key <coughs> for the health of the country, for the health of the country, which is currently empty, the health of the country is currently empty. But dealing with this black cloud is going to be the key. And it is going to go fast, fast. This is also wealth. There's going to be a wealth of information come forward. Sorry, sometimes I'd need to just keep going. There is going to be, because this is my wealth card. There is going to be a wealth of information come forward. There will be some harsh messages about the past. Now this can mean uh, a fool, but it's very much, I think, what Maestro and I have settled on in regards to this card. It's a jester's hat. Now the jester in the medieval courts uh, was considered the fool, and because he was considered the fool or the comedian at this, that time, he was able to tell the king the harsh truth and reality without being in fear because uh, it was a time when you told, if you told the king that he'd failed miserably at something or that someone was plotting his death or whatever, uh, as the messenger you were in peril yourself. But the fool is, is the one who was able to inform the king um, of the truth without being in fear of his life because he did it in such a way that he was considered a fool and, um, and amusing. So he would bring forward the really hard messages. Okay, so the hard messages of the past, of past rulings. Let's see where this goes. <clears throat> right, the harsh messages of the past rulings of what was the the work that was going on behind the scenes is going to be flipped into negative territory and the families are going to I'm not sure what this means we'll keep going sorry I'll just move these across a little bit families up stop no Ah, so the message, the mes message that's getting out there, that will affect the everyday families, will be positive, and it won't be stopped. Won't be stopped. Love of leadership is currently undergoing transformation. Oh, that's a big one for the U.S. Actually, when you think about that. The love for leadership royalty, what you consider royalty, that is the extremely wealthy, that is the politicians, the, the unquestioning 
um, allegiance to the love to is currently transforming really quickly bullseye telling me I'm spot on with that there is I have seen a lot of comments over um, the last few years of saying uh, during the Trumpian era saying he is the president therefore you must respect him no <laughs> The position does not garner respect. The actions of the person is what is respected. And people are now realising that this blind love uh, is, is undergoing a transformation. And it's undergoing a transformation. This blind love, this blind loyalty, the, 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 the um, idolisation of what we call our leaders... And I'll put those of the likes of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos in that as well. Just because they are extremely wealthy does not mean that they are wise and worthy of respect. Uh, they need to earn it from us. Um, is undergoing a transformation very quickly. Uh, technology. Technology will bring forward this shock in time via the masses the masses are having their eyes open to this growth will come through working together the destruction and entwining needs to be replaced by diversity and acceptance there will be some who will be unhappy about it oh, okay the old white males will be unhappy about it. But it will be a light bulb moment. It will be a large and comfortable light bulb moment which will be fulfilling as we are, uh, are exposed to this swamp of fear telling me, yes, I've got it right. It won't be and there will be this um, how do I say it? it's my it's my term for documents and contracts um, but yes there will be a removing of um, this uh, what is it the um, How do I phrase this? Yes, Master, I'm trying to think how to phrase it. Stop giving it to me. It's about removing the the um, uh, katowing down to um, uh, poor legislation. Can I put conflict legislation, conflicting legislation? It's about the removal of fear. It's about the removal of fear. It's about um, fear of the swamp. It is, and it's about removal of um, uh, documents, legislations, um, messages that are getting out there that are putting people in conflict. If I keep going, then I have the feminine energy. The feminine energy has been in poverty, but it will soon be time for celebration. It will soon be time for celebration. The greed and avarice is dissipating. And we are entering through communication this period of illumination and sun. And every drop in the ocean will lead to strength and rebuilding every drop in the ocean will lead to strength and rebuilding so this is why I keep putting forward this message from Meister it's a, it's a message he's really eminent, adamant about is that you need to do what you can do and don't feel paralysed by not being able to do more just do what you can do okay they were fairly positive energies um I won't look on the readings themselves, but they are positive energies for the future. 
as information comes forward, our eyes are opened, um, there are some difficult messages that we need to be aware of, and um, things are looking positive for the future. Okay, thank you for joining me. Any questions, put them in the box below or contact me at my email and love to your love and strength and so much support in regards to what is coming ahead for you. And uh, I, I, I see it being positive. I see it being positive. Okay, love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.